Guys, you won't believe this, but I just found the spawning grounds of the sunfish over here. There are so many beds over here, and the sunfish are apparently already spawning. And there are so many bears around here as well. This is pretty crazy. I mean, without waders, you would never, ever get back here. You know, all the sunfish, they, they choose this little spot right here, shallow. You see all the beds over here? This is really, really crazy. This is like a major discovery for EPF. I have seen about 15 bass all over this area, among with the sunfish and everything else. Look, look, another bass. Oh, oh, dude, a bass just tried to eat a, that, that bass just tried to eat the sunfish, dude. There's like 15 bass over here, but nothing of size, though. I haven't seen a single bass, you know, bigger than two pounds. Uh, very, very interesting, though. The interesting thing about here, the ones spawning right now are all pumpkin seed. Yeah, that's a pumpkin seed. I guarantee. Let's see. Yeah, see? Look at that. Pumpkin seed. All of these fish spawning over here, making the beds and everything. They are pumpkin seed. And the largemouth bass are targeting the pumpkin seed beds. Maybe trying to eat their eggs or something. You know, there's another one. Look, right here. Let me, let me see if I can punch it right in front of its face. There's a pumpkin seed right over here. Oh, it swam away. Oh, wait, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch it. Maybe if I cast a little bit further in front of its face. Oh, come on. That was a good cast. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's looking at it, you got it, yeah, so look at that, another pumpkin seed, there's all pumpkin seed around here, it's spawning, pumpkin seed, very interesting, such a beautiful species of fish, we got five species today so far, I'm still exploring, finding plenty of juicy stuff around the area, but yeah, we do need to go back to our search for the long nose days. This is crazy, man. Oh, this is another species for today. Look at that. It's a green sunfish. Dilipomis cyanellus. We have completed in this video the sunfish superfacta. Bluegill, pumpkin seed, red breast sunfish, and now the green sunfish. It is never a bad day when you catch six species of fish in one day. And we are not even done yet. We just got started yeah six species and just got started ah, there's a bass right over there oh the bass man aggressive that grass is on it that bass is on it look at that i knew it that bass was on it oh look at this so weird all the other bass were following this bass all small though no, nothing big. There's like about 15 of this size bass around here, but that's pretty much it. Wow, that's a big, that's a big green sunfish, dude. That's nothing like the first one we caught. This is like a, this is like a nice size green sunfish right over here holy moly dang what did i tell you about exploring huh guys what did i tell you sometimes you don't find fish but when you do find it it is sweet it is very very sweet look at that oh man it's a beautiful fish six species i'm going Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, you see the largemouth, they're not batting yet. The sunfish are. And what happens, the sunfish are batting around here, the largemouth bass is all around trying to eat the sunfish. Look at this, little night crawler. He was, he was around, he was around chasing the sunfish, 
trying to eat the eggs, uh, not the eggs, I'm sorry, trying to eat the sunfish itself, itself, you know? This fish was greedy, dude. Very, very greedy. Large mouth bass, <laughs> large mouth bass right here. All the sunfish batting all around here. This dude chose the right spot, you know? Look, the sunfish are coming back now. Yeah, I, I hear ya. All right, folks, I have caught six species of fish so far in this video. As you guys just saw, I found the breeding grounds, the hatchery, right, of the sunfish right around here. And the largemouth bass are on the sunfish like crazy. There are about 15 largemouth bass. Maximum range is like one and a half, two pounds. But there's a lot of different species of the Centrarchidae family right over here. But nevertheless, that is not exactly what we're looking for today. I just came here to explore. This is the upper ridge of the creek. I'm going to start heading to the main creek now and start going downstream. We are looking for the long nose dace, right? And according to the books, like I mentioned previously in this video, the scientific name is Cataractai. It likes current. So places like this, without current, you just know you are not going to find any days. Not only that, predatory species of fish, right? The research paper mentioned that where those days were at, there was few to non predatory species of fish. And that is extremely important because if you have 20 large mouth bass around together with the little long nosed days, what do you think is going to happen, right? The whole population is going to get depleted. So it's, it's about time for us to move again. Let's head downstream, continue exploring, and hopefully, man, hopefully, that fish is going to show up today. Look this trout. I think it's a white sucker. Whoa, is that a white sucker? Dude, that's a trout. What is a brown trout? Are you kidding me? I saw something a little bit bigger down there, folks. I thought for sure it was going to be a white sucker. Still using the night crawler. It's a brown trout, man. He got the worm all the way down there. I don't want to mistreat this trout since it is a trout. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, wet my hands. Yeah, it's a brownie. It's a brownie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. If it goes away, it goes away. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Beautiful brown trout here. Species number seven of the day. Got the red dots, right? Which means that this brown trout has been in the creek for quite a while already. It is a stocked trout though, not a wild. Oh man, this is pretty nuts. This creek got everything but the long nose days. What's going on here? Seven species today. Seven species today, man. But where's my long nose days? Oh boy, even the trout are here. I think I see what is a white sucker. Oh, fish on. That's the white sucker. Oh, yes, yeah, son. That's the white sucker, all right? I side fish for it. I saw it down there, you know, feeding. And then I thought, let's just get a white sucker to add to our species count. Powerful beast, man. This is gonna be species number eight of the day, the Catostomus commersoni. Just one, I added one split shot to add weight, you know, oh, to add weight to our bait. Man, suck the worm right in. I mean, this is what they do best, you know what I'm saying? They love sucking the stuff down there. Look at that. This mouth, my man, was made for sucking. You see that? Dude, this, Sucking machine. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's unhook this dude here. All right. But again, look at this mouth. You see this mouth here? It's because you guys don't know the texture. The texture is just so good. You know, it was made perfect for sucking stuff on the bottom, bottom of the creek. All right, little white sucker, Catostomus commersoni. Are you ready? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Eight species so far. I came to this little spot over here thinking that maybe, you know, we would find some. And instead, we found some bigger fish. I found some bigger fish at this run. Lots of them trout and white sucker. There's not gonna be any days over here. 
it's time to move on. Man, after all of that, we finally came back to our initial position where I did the intro. Now we're gonna start heading downstream. Upstream, no long nose days. But that was to be expected because, you know, the collection site was, down, <laughs> was downstream, right? So let's go. We got quite a hike, about 10 minutes hike. Hopefully we're gonna find that fish. Uh, for real though, where are these fish? I have been scouting the whole area down. I got my, pol my polarized glasses. I can see all the way down here, right? Look at that. I can see all the way down even without the polarized glasses. And I've been looking at the set of rapids after the rapids. See, there's a set of rapids right there, right? This is after the rapids. We're still walking down to the collection site. I saw maybe one largemouth bass that I spooked, <laughs> you know, but I mean, where are the micro species is swimming around, right? The days should be small and there should be at least one school of it. I don't see so far, you know, I don't know. We got to keep walking and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to find some. Oh boy, this stuff just keeps getting better and better. Just kill me already, folks. Uh, so I just realized something really bad. You guys see that sunken tree right over there? There's a big hole that starts right over here all the way to the end of that sunken tree. I can't wade over here because, you know, I got my GoPro equipment on me and things in my chest pocket. Those things are going to get, <laughs> to get wet. It gets pretty deep over here. The shallow side, which is this side over here, it's got sinking mud. I try crossing through the left, it's sinking mud. So what I have to do now is get out of the creek and uh, try to find another access, you know, to get into the creek after the sunken tree to get to the collection site. This just got more troublesome. When I tell people that the struggle is real, people don't often believe me, you know? Oh yeah, just a little micro fish, you know? Holy cow, dude, there's not even a path over here. There's like, there's like nothing over here. Well, whatever, just gotta follow it. You go hunt for this new species of fish. You guys may be wondering, oh, Leo, what are you doing with your fishing rod, right? Like this, to get rid of spider webs. Every time you cross the woods, there are bound to be some spider webs around. So you just wave your rod like this, you know, or circular motion to get rid of the spider webs. All right, let's see now. Where are we? What is going on here? There's a little deer trail over here. Oh, very nicely made by someone back in the days. Okay, it's like a concrete lab. Interesting. And did we pass the sunken tree already? Yes, we passed the sunken tree, so I could get in right from over here. Nice. Oh man, this is not good. Okay, so end of the line again. You guys see it gets deeper over here again. Now you may be looking at this and just be like, ah, Leo, it doesn't look very deep. I can see the wood over there, right? That is not the problem. The problem is that when you use waders and you don't know if the mud sinks or not, it is just not a good idea to risk it, you know? So <laughs> I gotta go back, gotta go back the way that I came and uh, there was a little deer trail on top here. I gotta go back to the deer trail <sighs> and hopefully get after the, that set of rapids. Victory is mine. I see the creek again. We are after the muddy part. <sighs> Gee Louise, man, we better have some days over here for real man look we are we are back here now all right this is the shallow portion we're still not at the collection site yet though that place is a deep hole that is super muddy now we just need to keep waiting down there
Oh, there we go. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, what the heck? Oh, it's a trout. It's a rainbow trout. Another species for today. Dude, for a moment, I thought it was a smallie, man. It jumped so high out of the water. Rainbow trout, man. If there's a trout here, there ain't gonna be no days. Thanks, son. I was so excited for a moment. Wow, yeah, it's a beauty. It's a beauty, though. It's a beautiful trout. Look at that. Oh, this is just algae, yeah? But look at that. It's a, it's a beautiful trout, man. All right, let's take a shot. Release the guy. Oh, man, this is turning out to be a crazy day of multi-species fishing. But you know what? In terms of catching my long nose days, I don't know how that is going. Though this trout is ready to go. I'm trying to get the size 18 hook. Look, size 18 hook, dude. I'm trying to get it out of its mouth. This trout is full of energy. Look at that. Huh? This is a beautiful, beautiful sample here. Man, are you kidding me? All right, go, go, go. There ain't gonna be days over here if there's trout. That's it, folks. I give up. I gotta tell you guys, I am perplexed and I am defeated. If only you guys saw, you know, everything that happened today. Five and a half hours, I have been walking, wading this creek, exploring, fishing, up and down. I caught everything, but our target is species. I mean, isn't that crazy? This place right here, where I am at at the moment, is the so-called WS399. This is the collection site that I was talking to you guys about at the beginning of this video. 13 years ago, back in 2005, this is where people came, you know, scientists, I don't know, fisheries, biologists, whatever you want to call it. They came down here with the crew. They did some electroshocking and they, you know, collected all the different species of fish around the area. And according to the report from 2005, this spot right here, this area right here, was the best area for the long nose days, which is the one species that I was not able to find today. Now, you know, I am perplexed because let me show you guys, this place is perfect, is the perfect environment for the long nose days. There are three sets of rapids right here, one after the other, followed by deep pools, you know. It can maintain a decent population of different species of fish, but it was just, it is just very sad, you know. I, I, I didn't see a single one today. Didn't get a single bite from one today. And like I said, five and a half hours later, man, I feel discouraged and I feel defeated. I feel like this species once again has eluded, <laughs> has eluded me, you know. But nevertheless, we did catch nine species of fish today from this creek, right? What did we catch? Uh, we did the sunfish superfecta, so we caught the bluegill, the Lepomis macrocytus, the red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus, green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus, and the pumpkin seed, Lepomis gibosus. Other than that, we did a little bit of micro fishing, and we ended up catching a lot of the mummy chog, the fundulus heteroclitus. We caught some largemouth bass as well, that is the Micropterus salmoides. We caught the two different types of trout in this stream, right? The rainbow trout, the Oncorhynchus micus, and the brown trout, the Salmo truta. And finally, we also caught a few white sucker, the Catostomus commersoni. It was a good day. <laughs> I, can't, I can't complain, you know? It was a really good day. I mean, just think it this way. When you go out there to fish for a day and you catch nine different types of fish, including some game fish, right? Three species of game fish. There's just no way you can't be happy. But somehow, I just feel a little empty inside. I mean, the report, the report said so, right? 10 years ago, over here, long nose days, the Renictus cataractae, and then a bunch of mummy chog, Fundulus heteroclitus, some swallowtail shiner, the Not Notropis procni, that was actually another species today that I didn't really see in the creek. A bunch of red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus, which, you know, it is true, there's a bunch of them around here. 
and a bunch of white soccer, the Casostomus Comersoni. I'm just thinking, I think that what happened, one of the possible things that happened, right, plausible things that happened, is that over this last 13 years, I mean, last time they came here was 2005, now it is 2018, over the last 18 years, I mean, sorry, over the last 13 years, a lot of things have changed in this creek, right? The report said that in this portion of the creek, that <laughs> there was pretty much not a single predatory species of fish. But man, I am at this spot right here and I caught like three trout over here. So maybe the stock trout population over the last 13 years kind of got rid of the, you know, long nose days population. And even the swallowtail shiner that are the smaller species over here. Oh, tessellated daughter. They said there was a lot of tessellated daughter here back in the days too right that is the, that is the etiostoma homesteady today i didn't see a single one so this is what i think it happened you know the government stocks the trout over here I, I am all happy about it but again you know when you stock invasive species of fish like the rainbow trout or the brown trout that is what happens with the native species of fish they disappear 13 years ago in this creek out of 15 collection sites they only collected 550 long nose days, right? 13 years later, I'm here, I didn't see a single one. And I, I've been very careful looking everywhere, you know? Anyways, I'm just frustrated. I'm gonna end this video right here. I think I'm gonna give the long nose days a little break, you know? I just, I mean, you know, I just wished that, that I could catch one of those around my area, right? I can go somewhere else to catch them, places where I know that there's an abundant population of them, but I really, really wanted to catch one around Philadelphia and just show people, right? Wow, check this out, guys. They are still around, but it seems that this is not the case. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry for ranting here, you know, at the end of this video, it was a wonderful day of fishing, needless to say. Uh, thank you very much. I will see you guys next time. I am super tired, you know, gotta go home, get something to eat, tie lines, and fish on.